Hey, what's up? It's Creatures. That's who you're hanging out with today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for letting me be creative. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I really do. It means a lot. It lets me be creative because of people like yourself watching my videos, subscribing, hanging out. Uh, okay, we got some free stuff in Fallout 76 today. It's March 1st. Where's my mouse? All right, we got some new background rolling here. Red Rocket Highway Mega Stop. Location Invasion Update Highlights. Rip, Daring, and Cryptic Hunt. Atomic Shop Update. Last Chance, February bonus item. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm playing on PC right now. Sorry, I was just drinking some water. Here. See what we have that's special. Okay. Nice. Star Flamer. We'll confirm that. Few fifty caps. Claim that. Awesome. Uh nuke test bunker shelter. What is cool, I guess. Armor. Enclave or enclave? How do you pronounce it? Hmm. I don't know. Looking cool, I guess. The pictures they pick for these sometimes are funny. Lucky for you, the doctor is in. Include it. White tiles, clean office cabinet. Light, light alley. Okay. Huh. All right. That's good to know. Enclave. Armor paint down there. Overgrowth. Friendship display. Nice. Okay. Under the tree bundle. The lookout bundle. Greatest hits. Okay, am I reading this right? Click on this and you have Light Alley. Ally. Huh. Dr. Hardy. We'll, we'll buy that. Why not? Alright, let's get in here. Let's go to my act my world I like how that's loading welcome to vault 76 that looks really cool I don't think I've ever seen that as many times as I've played this game let's see what adventures we can get into today today's March 1st did I say that already 2023 play a little bit of fallout I'm gonna play a little bit of games today let's see what adventure we have I forget where I left off on this one I need to beat this soon. I'm going to pause on the yearly subscription. I don't know. I might. We'll see. It's going to come up, I think, this month or next month. So. Who knows what I'm going to do. I downloaded Fallout 4. Thought I'd do play that for a little while next. Do some um, mods on that one. I have no idea since there's hundreds and hundreds of mods for it. If you have any, recommend them down below for me. All right. I need to report to the Brotherhood. Oh, yeah. I was just in, what was this, Vault 96? See what I'm wearing today. I don't think I've changed my outfit much. Still digging this outfit, okay? I like to show you at the beginning. Yeah, Vault 96. Have any of you gone to um, the pit? You know, I went there once and I got really bored and I haven't gone back. Tell me what you think below. Go report to the Brotherhood. Mm, let's go inside. 
Did it tell me who I was supposed to report to? Well, how are you doing? You all having a good day? I am. Today is my Tuesday. It's a Wednesday here in America. Another report of people going missing. Right, up here. Oh. I need to talk to all of them. Fully compliant with your questioning. Threats are not required. With everything you've done, you're lucky. I'm only threatening you right now. Please, this argument is getting us nowhere. Okay, you guys stop talking because I'm here. Initiate, you've come at the right time. We've been talking to Dr. Blackburn and going over Scribe Valdez's report on what you found in Vault 96. This smug monster is practically bragging about torture and unleashing horrors on the world. And Romani is treating him with kid gloves. I am not bragging. What I have done was necessary. I take no pride in those terrible acts. I will have to live with the shame of them forever. That weight does not, however, diminish that the ends were worth the means. You will learn that soon enough. My colleagues will see that our creation, a vast improvement on the FEV, is distributed shortly. Do you see the arrogance the self-justification. We should end him and be done with it. Which one should I pick? I think I've seen his idea of accept acceptable costs. Nothing justifies it. I agree with that one. But let's see what else. If all he had done was create more super mutants, I would agree. The scribe's report just adds more crimes to the list. It's not that simple. Preventing Dr. Blackburn's associates from taking this horror any further must be our priority. And we may need the doctor to convince them. True. My colleagues have a laboratory hidden beneath the headquarters of my former employer, West Tech. We intend to correct the FEV's mistakes at their birthplace. Poetically appropriate, would you not agree? I was very honest about that. My colleagues have a facility better suited to final testing and mass production of the virus. As we speak, they are preparing for its release into the air and water of Appalachia. Once dispersed, it will enter the precipitation cycle in groundwater, and then it cannot be stopped. No! It could spread for hundreds, maybe thousands of miles. That is your goal, not mine. But I am not a soldier and would not withstand strenuous interrogation well. No minor delay on my part will change what is to come. My colleagues are already preparing. Perhaps my cooperation will allow us to make a case for the good we are about to do and convince you of our cause. Impossible. We could never support something so abominable. Yes. If the doctor's associates are preparing to distribute the virus, we have to put our emotions aside here and get to them before they can. Blackburn's punishment, whatever its form, can wait until Appalachia is safe. Head to West Tech. Find and secure the entrance to this lab, and we'll follow behind. All right. I like this, Romani. We should be done with him here and now and level this laboratory. This is just like what Elder Maxon faced at Mariposa. Or have you forgotten? Elder Maxon came to regret acting rashly there. Or have you forgotten? If they've already begun producing the virus, blowing up the place could just help spread it. We'll need to be a bit more delicate than that. Valdez is my Very girlfriend. Well. I like her. Blackburn is coming with us. I will be watching him. Perhaps he can provide leverage against his fellow lunatics. If I can prevent further loss of life, I will. Then it's decided. Initiate, head for West Tech. We've no time to lose. See you there. Huh. All right, let me just talk to my girlfriend real quick. You guys don't see me sneaking by you at all. Nope, I'm not going to squeeze in here. Hey, hey you. Can I talk to you? We have to stop these people before they spread their virus even farther. You're so loud. 
We have to stop these people before they All spread right. the virus even farther. You don't want to talk, okay. West Tech. It's up here. Wait, I passed it. Boop. Yeah, it's why am I doubting myself? Do, 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 do. Sorry, I don't mean to do that. Vault Tech, I was I'm thinking of. Where the heck is West Tech? Okay. Well, I... Hey, babe. We have to stop these people before they spread their virus even farther. But how am I? I'm supposed to. We have to stop these people before they spread their virus uh, even farther. I'm supposed to deliver this to you. We have to stop. These ah! people before they spread their virus <laughs> even farther. I can do more than just play. How do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm put on patrol day and night? Thought I was delivering it <laughs> to her. Okay, let's go out here. Kept repeating herself over and over again. What level are you in Fallout? Put that down in the comments. So I could be envious of your level. How many times have you played it? How many times have you played through it, I guess, is what I was trying to say. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, West Tech is there. Cool. Oh, I don't like when I do that. So you want me to deliver it here as well? Okay. Let's fast travel. Let's get this done. Get this taken care of. Hmm. I've been playing around with my microphone. You, you gotta let me know how everything's sounding. We're living in, I mean, I'm gonna sound really entitled right now. Living in 2023 and I just wish there was a software I can go boop and then it just configures everything, you know, with my microphone. So listening to my record myself over and over again and listen to my voice. Oh. <laughs> Definitely missed that one. Shot over his head. Sneak attack. How was that a sneak attack one? Eric Wines. Of the trailer. So boring. I'll just wait for you guys. You killed my brother. I thought I killed your dog. I thought you were going to be mad about that. Oh. Did not know, expect you. That was a shock. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, 
How is my food and water? Probably should check those things before I go into battle, huh? Let's kill this guy. And I'm horrible today. And then I'll make... Is there another one? Make some food. Let's just do it anyways. I get double when I do that? Okay, yeah, there, see, there's no one here. That's what I thought. I don't even remember where the turret... Oh, there it is. I heard it. I like this gun a lot. The rifle, I forget what type of rifle it is. The skin on it. Legendary. My old base. Aw, memories. Memories. Okay, I promise I won't see. Nothing in this room. And how many times have I been in this building? No turrets? No green stuff here. Someone there? Nope. Didn't realize it was gonna close. That's okay. Okay. I hear a bobblehead. Go up. I could have just jumped up there. He's mad at me. Um, can you please open? So it's not up here. Let's go back down. That's weird. I thought it would be right above me. Doors doing that today. Hello. I hear you upstairs. That's what it is. Where are 
are you coins? Are you right above me? Are you on the other side of the wall? Audio in this game is funny. Always broken. I'll find you coins, don't worry. Don't need all these. here in this room. Please be in this room. I hear you. Need daddy -o. There you are. Come on. There you go. Get that dog. Defend the mercenaries. Defeat the mercenaries. Go upstairs. That's Marcus's base. That's how detailed he gets when he does bases. Had to take a picture at his base. That was one of the Ailey's, I think, a long time ago. Take a picture of your friend's base. Oh, this is taking forever. In fact, I'm going to let it keep loading. That's weird.
Wow, I ran to the bathroom and it's still loading. Paula did something to me the other day where it just crashed on me too when I was playing. Made me really, really sad. Really, really sad. I'm gonna have to back out of this. What is it doing? Send it. Let's go here. Let's reload it. That's silly. How do you get it from like when people touch their mic without making that noise in your microphone? I watch OBS videos. Still haven't figured it out. Okay, here we go again. It's like, come on, Bethesda. What are you doing? And Starfield's going to be so broken. But I'm really excited for it. Come on. Go back. Now I know where you're all at. Really, everything's still here. I mean, I have to get the coins and everything. Those are gone. Oh man, you're gonna be annoying if you're gonna make those noises, but that's stuff. That sucks. Check something real quick. Wrong thing. Yeah, th these are here. All right. Uh, that coin, don't be going off. All right, we'll gotta fight them all over again. No big deal. I can smell you out there. Can you? Sneak. I was hoping that would have been like where I jumped in the air and got him, but I messed that up. All right, let's figure this out. Silly. Okay. Let's go in here, we'll clear our way out. I like the sneak. Stealthy. Going to
Funny, I don't remember you that many being here, but I was killing them individually. Okay. Let's try this. I like revolvers. Well, I like the sound of that. Very meaty. At least the um, coins in here aren't going off. Yeah, you do. Can't jump up there. Your dog should be telling you about things. Yeah, let's go here and do this again. Yeah, let's break these down. I don't need them. Huh. That's something else in there. Maybe it's not showing up as new. What was that earlier that I just had? Let's see if this loads. It did earlier and then it stopped. going the right way and I like the sound of this handgun let me know if you use handguns like this revolvers do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life it's a good thing I love killing chumps I heard something All right, here we are. You guys want to talk to me? You don't want me to give you some information? <laughs> Everything under control, Initiate. Cats were likely here to protect Blackburn's associates from the super mutants above. Did we expect any further resistance? I am not aware of the details of the defensive measures my colleagues may have taken. I would not, however, expect them to tolerate trespassers. We should keep moving. As you wish. I am your prisoner, after all. I have little choice in the matter. A trap I conceived, prepared, and executed entirely while in your custody? You give me too much credit. Hmm. I feel like he's up to something. Paranoia ill suits you. I have complied with your every demand. And that is precisely what is so concerning. Exactly. 
Hmm. Dr. Farhar is nominally the head of their group, Headstrong, an old university colleague. Dr. Jane was a junior scientist at West Tech, brilliant but easily led. He shared my disgust at the Huntersville mistake. Nellie Wright, on the other hand, is Dr. Farhar's pet project, an adoptee of sorts, very talented, despite her lack of formal schooling. Certainly. Let's move out. We just Let's wasted go. time. <laughs> oh, Ed. Edgar. Edgar, who are these people? What happened to the guards? The guards are dead, Dr. Farha. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. I have been their guest since they discovered our project. Regrettably, they object to what we are doing. We will not be intimidated. This facility is secured. You can't get to us. We will finish our work. Why? Because it's the frontier of science? It's the next step in our self-guided evolution as a species. Why wouldn't we do this? Wrong? Who says? What does morality have to do with any of this? So people got hurt. That's nothing compared to what we'll accomplish. There was no other way. Dr. Blackburn was right. If we stop now, all that pain we caused will have been meaningless. All of them? No. Humans are broken in so many ways we can't fix, but... We can keep them from dying from radiation or getting sick because the water's poisoned. We can make it so they don't have to be afraid of the world around them anymore. Huh. Intellectual curiosity is good for you. This isn't the Huntersville strain. Dr. Blackburn has purified the virus of its considerable defects. We've made something wonderful out of something horrible. We're helping people this time. Wait, which one should I pick? Well, no, not as such, uh, but... Of course we have. Experimentation has identified the key flaws in the original strain. Iterative testing has pinpointed the defective genetic sequences and we've corrected them in each case. Of course not. What West Tech did was a terrible mistake. An affront to science. They didn't care who they hurt. And they did it just to see what happened. We're trying to help people. This will make people safe again. Huh. Dr. Jane is enthusiastic. But it's true. We are not doing this just to satisfy our curiosity. We're advancing science itself. The cost doesn't matter. No offense to Dr. Jane, but West Tech wasn't doing science. They were only burning ants with a magnifying glass by comparison. We've run the simulations. All three of us triple checked the models and compared to prior experimental data. We're confident in the formulation. You know what they say, human testing is the best testing. A large-scale release will provide a representative sample. Science needs vision, like Dr. Blackburn's, like ours. Let's not let testing hold us back. Huh. Well, sure, it might seem hasty, but... Don't be such a pushover, Janie. No, wait. I've also had my doubts. Perhaps we should discuss this after all. I can see you're troubled. You know what you're doing isn't right. Let's talk through this. We can come to an agreement. I want to avoid violence. But that's always on the table. As long as you hold Dr. Blackburn hostage. Let him go. Please. 
Let him go or we will cut off this negotiation and proceed with our plans. I am afraid you will have to give in on this one. If you truly want to stop our distribution process, I advise you to listen to the doctor's entreaties. It is no joke at all. Allow me to explain. My colleagues could not stop production if they tried. It requires a code. I am the only one who knows the code. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. Hmm. Is this true, Edgar? You will have to forgive Dr. Farhar. She did not know. I added this functionality to our distribution program as insurance, you might say. Boy, that's handy, huh? So there you have it. I am willing to help you in exchange for sparing my colleagues' lives, but you will have to let me in there with them. Huh. Trust me or trust me not, the truth remains the truth. Then you are free to enjoy the view as my colleagues distribute our creation among the populace. I don't like it either. But what other option do we have? If we do nothing, the outcome will be just as catastrophic. Dr. Farhar, please permit me inside as a sign of good faith from the Brotherhood. I am certain we can negotiate a peaceful resolution and perhaps preserve our work at the same time. All right. I'm registering you for the security grid. Just you. With your leave. Don't make this worse. This is a mistake. Yeah, it is. Now you're right this time. Now that that is over with, Nelly, prep the test chamber. They want proof of our success. I will give it to them myself. I am sorry, but this must happen. You will see, and then there will be no more debate. Edgar, please. Let's talk about this. You've signed your death warrant, Blackburn. I will test the sample on myself and be proof of our achievement. Anything you do to me after does not matter. I'm going in. Ready the tag. We should have executed him when we had the chance. Now is not the time. We've got to find a way in quickly. There's no time to waste. Drop through the hatch. FEV flow ready, Doctor. Initiate procedure. Code essential. Initiating. What happens when you level up? Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Monstrous end. Monstrous human being. This is what happens when we let people play God. This proves more than anything. Edgar, he. I should have known. I did know. We weren't ready. I owe you an apology. Our work was a failure. Any good it might have done was a mirage. I, I knew it in my heart, but <laughs> didn't listen. As a token of goodwill, I have used Edgar's code to stop production. We will not distribute the virus. I will make sure of that. But I will not simply let you in. There may be little I can do to stop you, but I will defend my colleagues in what little way I can. Freely hand over our lives. This is all I can do to resist. Please leave. 
<laughs> Do what you will. I wouldn't put it past them to have rigged this exit with traps. There must be a password. We shouldn't waste time searching. If you know how to brute force a terminal, now would be the time. Alright, let's brute, brute force it. Let's see what we got. Heart? Ha! Ha ha! First one, I love it. I really think they've stopped production. This whole sob story sounds like a trap. We can verify that once the area is secure and send prescribed Valdez to double check. Until then, stay on your guard. You've arrived. Please, hear me out. We are scientists. Our work is all we have to give to this broken world. We had truly hoped to give humanity a better way to fight back. Against the radiation, the mutants, the decay of civilization, we failed. But this doesn't have to be the end. There is so much good that we can still do, please. Spare us your wrath. Why does it sound like you're giving up? We weren't that far off, just a tweak here or there. Uh, if I may interrupt, I agree with everything Dr. Farha has to say. Uh, despite how it looks, we are not evil people. We wish only to better humankind. Knowing that, what are your intentions with us? Kill you all. No, I don't know yet. Hmm. I agree with you on the very bottom one. We're still deciding what to do with you. I'm on your side. Science is the way forward. Kidnapping. That's the big thing. Well put. The Brotherhood exists to keep humanity safe. And your work endangered everyone in Appalachia. If that failed virus had gotten out, countless people could have died. We can't allow you to continue experimenting. Wait, Shin. It's clear that we can't just let them go. But their knowledge could be valuable to the Brotherhood and the people of Appalachia. Blackburn was the ringleader, but he's gone. We know nothing about the others. And of all people, you and I shouldn't fault anyone for trying to make a difference. I can. And I will. Is this still about back then? You can't forgive yourself for your own mistakes, so you refuse to forgive others too. When will you put that behind you? This has nothing to do with that. There will be no more experiments. And they're too dangerous to keep prisoner. Wait, you're really going to kill us? Hold on. We're not killing anybody. We will bring them back to Fort Atlas and have Scribe Valdez monitor their work. Have you lost your mind? He's right, Think though. About it. This is exactly why the Brotherhood exists. To safeguard technology. I hate to admit it, but the Elders are right on this. We can't let them go, but we can't destroy what knowledge they have either. A wise compromise. I'm willing to cooperate. You, the angry one. Consider the fact that universities are no longer operating. In a generation or two, there will be few, if any, people left in the world with a formal education. How many dozens have you killed? Do you really think your life is worth more than theirs because of your education? We don't need your knowledge if you're deranged enough to resort to human experimentation. Uh, please, stop it. Uh, let us stop for a moment and talk to each other. Uh, there's still much that we haven't told you about our work. And we uh, know little about your brotherhood. But perhaps we can find out more where our perspectives overlap. Yes. Maybe some discussion will cool Shin's head. I have no desire for this to come to blows. Very well. You haven't said anything yet? Surely you have an opinion on this matter? Um, yeah, let me talk to everyone. We won't be going anywhere. 
I urge you to reconsider. This was never meant to come to violence. I never intended to hurt anyone. Dr. Blackburn was in charge of procurement. He told us they were volunteers. It was only later that... But by then... Please understand, we were so close. It could have ended any day. And everything we did was for the greater good. We must carry forward what we learned. Or all that sacrifice will have been for nothing. Dr. Farha may disagree, but I'd like to finish the FEV formula. We can implement new safety measures. Animal experiments only. Thorough waste disposal. We were so close to improving the human race as we know it. The world has changed, my friend. How are we to survive if we don't change with it? They are good people. Dr. Farah is quite strict, but it's because she cares. About Nelly, particularly. The girl is unorthodox, but you can't fault her for it. We're all born differently into this world. And about Dr. Blackburn. Well, the world has lost a visionary intellect. It's a shame. A tragedy. Please don't let this work go to waste. Hey. I heard when the Brotherhood breaks down your door, they say, add victory, hand over your arms. Is that true? Oh, wow. That's scary. You really made my heart skip a beat. I, uh, I don't have any arms. Well, unless you mean human arms, because I've got two of those, but they're mine. You can't have them. Wrong. It's all wrong. We ran the models, but the models were wrong. I know exactly where to change the ratios to make this work. I can make it work. We just need one more chance. Don't run from science. Let us do this. Let us change the world. Okay. What about them? Ooh, she's not really nice. Is that any worse than being human? As Dr. Jane says, all life is sacred. You'd probably gun them down regardless, right? To improve the human race. If I was kidnapped for our experiments, I wouldn't mind. Most kidnappers do much worse. Oh, are you a licensed medical professional? Even if you are, it's pretty rude to make sudden, unwarranted diagnoses of people you just met. Okay, I guess. Janie and Farah? Well, I don't think anybody liked me before Farah, so I'm glad we're together. Janie worries too much. She's always asking, are we doing the right thing? Is this gonna work? You don't know until you try. Edgar was the most fun of all. Too bad he miscalculated. All right, You're let's- You're not really gonna kill us, are you? I'm awfully young to die. You can fit a lot of experiments into 60 more years. I want to kill you. <laughs> what questions do you have for me? Okay, let's see. Or has your party made a decision? Okay, let's see. We'll, well start we here. Focus the idea of human evolution into a more targeted formula. Say a formula to increase muscle bulk or or to repel radiation. In fact, I hear serums of that sort may already be circulating among the survivors of the region. I'd like to study what they have created and improve upon it. Okay. It went too far. And quite frankly, I regret bringing the others onto this project. By the time I figured out that Dr. Blackburn was experimenting on humans, Nellie and Dr. Jane had already become passionate about the project. I was unable to convince them to pull back. I stayed in the hopes that my objections could save even one innocent person from being experimented on. Yeah, I like you.
There was no one interested in listening. I had to talk your superiors down first. The Brotherhood are a passionate sort, aren't they? Yeah. Dr. Blackburn and Dr. Jane were my college associates. They didn't know each other at the time. I met Nellie when she broke through my window to search for scraps, as wasteland survivors do. She was more interested in my research notes than my leftovers. So I took her in, taught her what I know. All right, so she had a du double, <laughs> sorry, a different upbringing. That's why she's tough. And what has your organization decided? <sighs> that's a relief. I assure you that you'll have our cooperation. So that's it then. You and Romani would repeat the mistakes of the past and use these criminals to build more weapons of destruction. To send the world further down the path of chaos for your own gain. All while wearing the Brotherhood insignia on your chest. Oh, night. The Brotherhood's mission is always so grumpy all the time. Of science to guide us to a better world. Rather than murder great minds, we will shape them into people who will serve that mission. And we will do it without barbarians like you. On that point, we agree. I refuse to serve an illegitimate branch of a principled institution. The elders need to know about our failures. All of them. It will be my honor to give that report in person. I'm the only one with any sense of duty around here. It's a shame that I couldn't bring you around to seeing its value. It's easy to follow an arbitrary set of rules, Shin. I'd rather make my own decisions and learn from them if I have to. We are grateful. The work we do next could still change the world. You go on ahead. I'll bring the scientists back to Fort Atlas, then we can discuss everything that's happened. All right. I want to do something real quick. Okay, we have that regroup. Forbidden knowledge is what I'm looking for. Okay, let's go deliver this. Since this is going to be a long video, let's do a couple of them. This is when Marcus and I were playing. He went to go feed his dogs and his game got stuck. So it removed his clothes, which I thought was funny. So I decided to take a picture of him, which I adore. All right, here we go. Let's go back and deliver this. Take everything, we can use it, break it down. Scrap, scrap, scrap. All these explosive bullets. I feel like if I lock this already, do I always have to lock pick it? These are explosive bullets. I do that sometimes. Complete it. We completed it. Okay, cool. Forbidden knowledge. Let's see what we got. Alright, scrubs. Uniform. What?
Check this one out. Oh, where's the light? Ooh, I like this one. This one's cool. All right, cool. Kill the rest of these guys. You. Okay. Zoom out real quick. Went the wrong way. Okay, let's fast travel. Uh, we want to go inside. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. My phone got an email. All right, we'll go run in there. Friends, initiates, faces new and old. It's good to see you today. I am proud to announce that the mutant threat has been cornered and removed. But it came with an unfortunate consequence. I'm sure you all know that relations between Shin and I have been strained for some time now. I'm afraid my leaving out his title is no mistake. Shin and his followers have decided to part ways with the Appalachian Brotherhood. I had every wish to work together with Shin on my mission, and still do. But he is no longer open to discussion. His loyalty to the Elders is unshakable. He would rescind his oath before besmirching the Brotherhood's name. Should he ever open his mind, I will be ready to listen. All right, let's go talk. Now I have one more announcement to make. I'd like to recognize a particular initiate's exceptional contributions to our chapter. In most cases, this recognition would take the form of a standard rank increase. However, being a knight is a dedicated responsibility, and it's become quite clear to me that this initiate has obligations beyond just the Brotherhood of Steel. I won't take you away from Appalachia. As such, I'm granting you the unique title of Knight Errant. Why don't you come stand between Scribe Valdez and I so I may officially confer your title? For exceptional contributions to the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel, I hereby name you Knight Errant. You may split your time with the Brotherhood as you see fit. Nice. We're forever grateful for what you've done for us. Now, everyone, feel free to take a short break before your next assignment. You've earned it. Speak to the residents. Let's speak to her. So, your boyfriend moved up. It's gone. Oh, yeah. Let's I talk about him. It. I wanted to be optimistic about their conflict right up until the end. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like maybe this was inevitable. If only there was more I could have done. Well, both of them would die for their beliefs. At least this way, they can pursue those beliefs separately, rather than killing each other over them. Well, that's going a bit far, isn't it? Oh. That's a very nice thing to say. Um, thank you. Welcome. Don't mention it. As the resident scribe, it's my job to keep things functioning around here. I'm going to keep doing my job. With one officer down, there's going to be a lot of slack to pick up. There's still a lot more I'd like to see out there, but right now, 
I need to support the Brotherhood. Things are gonna get a lot looser around here. Paladin Romani never believed in strict regulations. She's going to focus on recruitment and outreach. Well, if she can find the time. Why until next time? Why can't we flirt more? Until next time. Congratulations on your promotion, Night Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What, what are we gonna do? Who's gonna handle everything? Who's gonna lead the recruits? What am I gonna do? Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, I think I'm all right. Night Errant. I don't do well with really big changes. I think I'm just... I think I need some time to process this. I'm gonna sit down. Nice. Talk to you Focus randomly. Victory. Did that really just happen? I knew things between the higher ups were shaky, but I didn't think one of them would actually leave. Especially Night Shin. I mean, it seemed like the Brotherhood was everything to him. Well, I guess things are going to change a bit around here. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Look forward to it, even. Whatever reorganization we need to do, I'm sure it'll shake out into something even better than what we've got right now. Paladin Romani is the leader I want to follow. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. See you around, Knight Errant. It's weird, um... I can't remember if I was being nice or I was being mean in this playthrough. I just... Congratulations on your promotion, Knight Errant. Thank you. Can I talk to my girlfriend again? Hello, Initi... Um, Knight Errant? That will take some adjusting to. Alright, okay. Until next time. Can't... I can't flirt with you anymore? Hmm. Okay, let's talk to her. So, Knight Errant, how does your new title feel? I'll flirt with her too, why not? Plotting decorum, are we? You're lucky I'm into that. And yes, I have noticed you. Ooh. She might be a girlfriend too. Now, we can start making the Brotherhood the benevolent organization I always wanted it to be. Our focus has to be helping the people of Appalachia. Reaching out a hand and making them feel safe. This is a new dawn. Be proud that you were a part of it. I'm disappointed Shin would turn his back on us, but... It's certainly better than the alternative. There were times I truly wondered what I would do if it came to it. If Shin pointed his gun at me, I know what I would do. So I'm grateful he didn't make me do it. Don't be a stranger. There will always be a place for you at Fort Atlas. At Victorium. Aw, oh, thank you. We won. We're winners. Hellcat. Thought I already had the Hellcat stuff. I want to talk to you. Let's see what I got. Oh, Hellcap power armor. Hello, Initi um, Knight Errant. That will take some adjusting. We can't flirt anymore. All right, we can't flirt anymore. That's okay. Until next time. All right. All right. We're winners. So the Hellcat looks like. Knight Errant, it's been an honor to serve with you. Ooh, I like the Hellcat. We're gonna enter it. We finish that all up. Victory to you, Knight Errant. Yeah, we do. I can walk around. You guys can praise me all day. 
see if I keep telling me fun stuff. Drink some water. I'm gonna leave some presents for you guys. Congratulations on your promotion, Knight Errant. I hope you enjoy them. Knight Errant, it's been an honor to serve with you. We owe this victory to you, Knight Errant. Oh, thank you. You were talking to me too. Go up here. Let's see what the scientists say. <laughs> they don't say anything. Our work is progressing well. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to move forward. I'll kill you. Nothing to see here, except the coolest science you've ever seen. Stab you, you tough person, you. I bet you have a big heart inside there. I'm gonna find it one day. You must believe that we only wanted to help. That we still do. They're, they're gonna get you. you. They're gonna they're gonna hurt you in here. We owe this victory to you, Knight Errant. Say something nice. Congratulations on your promotion, Knight Errant. It's been an honor to serve with you. Yes, thank you. I dropped some fun stuff down there. To you, Knight Errant. Oh, hello again. I mean, hello, Knight Errant. No, still in training. With everything that happened, it really put the brakes on the process, you know? Nobody knew who to listen to. Except maybe Scott Valdez. Now that Knight Shin's gone, I hope things will move forward, for all of us. This schism hurt. It hurt us personally to conflict with one another, and it hurt the Brotherhood. But we can move forward now. The Paladin's the right leader for us. She can build something for Appalachia that Night Shin couldn't. I, used to, I like calling her Pal Palatine. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Night Colin, Colin, I'm glad you came Victoria. back. Glad you came back and he joined. His brother and him were on a farm with his mom and dad. Do you think I could become an initiate too? Yeah, you're little, but yeah, someday. He can be really lonely at times. I miss her a lot. Maybe when I'm older, I'll be able to visit her. Hopefully the Brotherhood and Raiders will have stopped fighting by then. I doubt it. My name is Maximo, but you can call me Max for short. My big sister Marsha used to live here with me in the Brotherhood, but she's gone now. Yeah, I know. I helped you with all that. Uh, well, the town we lived in got attacked by raiders, and our mother was killed. Um, but luckily, the Brotherhood of Steel was there, and they saved us. Since we didn't really have anyone anymore, Paladin Romani had us come along with them. I can't wait to become a member and fight off bad guys like they do. I'll make sure no one ever has to die again. Okay, I've what already I've already Let's talked talk to you about all that. You. Uh, sure, I'd be happy to talk about them. I mean, they're my heroes. All the time, he was supposed to see me become a knight, just like him. Now, now we'll never charge into battle together wearing matching power armor. Why didn't they both come back anyway? I thought the Brotherhood chain was unbreakable. But it's their duty to work together. Marsha and I didn't agree either. Maybe that's why she left. Odessa is the best. She's super smart and is always saying stuff that I don't really understand, but I'm gonna study really hard. And sometimes when the others aren't around, we play hide and seek around the fort. She told me I could because we're friends. Wait, Just I want like to call her that. Can call me Max instead of Maximo. Although when I'm a knight, I would prefer if you called me Knight Max. Nah, I want to be a knight like Shin so I can wear power armor and use cool weapons. If I was to be a scribe though, I would want to be just like Odessa. Okay. She's the leader of the Brotherhood, and I'm gonna try my best to impress her so that she makes me an initiate one day. It was Paladin Romani's idea to let us stay here with them. But 
I'm so happy that she did. No way! I can't get the proper training I need to become a Brotherhood of Steel Knight there. I need the best combat training there is, and that's here. Speaking of, I wonder if Knight Shin is busy right now. Oh, absolutely! She cares a lot about saving people and stopping bad guys. She's a real-life hero. Alright, nice okay. talking to you, Maximo. I mean, Max. I hope I can see you again soon and we can play. Yeah, hide and go seek. Knight Errant, it's been an honor. Did you need something? Of course. I understand why she had to leave, though. If we're lucky, maybe she'll help bridge the divide between the Brotherhood and the Raiders. I hope to see her again soon one day. And in the meantime, I'll always keep an eye on Max. Well, that was nice of you, buddy. I've always liked Paladin Romani, and she's focused on helping people. Uh, her charismatic and optimistic nature makes it easier for the Brotherhood to continue to exist in Appalachia. All right. See you around. I already talked to you about you. Can I talk to you again? Hello, Initiate. Um, ah. Right We've already talked. Okay. So I did all that. That was fun. We have, for next time, Cheating Death, Me Fisher, Tune Radio to Fisher's Tracky Beacon, and then we have Trade Secrets. Mother Load Field Test went successful. Turn to page. Okay. So we want to do Cheating Death next time. Well, that was definitely over 30 minutes. Thanks for hanging out with me for an hour and 19 minutes. If you're still here, like I said before at the beginning, I appreciate you letting me be creative and watching me and supporting me. To all my subscribers, thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Let's get known together. I love you all. Talk to you in the future. Bye.